let's go ahead and get started with this meeting. Uh, we have, believe we have, uh, we do have forum. I see everyone except for Deb Hutton on. So let's go ahead and uh, go with roll call. Cindy Canardi here. Deborah Meyerson here. David Walter here. Nick Kappas here. City staff. Larry Allen Legal for the city. Yeah, from my hand department. John Zoding with hand. Alex Crowley with Economic and Sustainable Development. Uh, Jane Cooper Smith, Economic and Sustainable Development. Brent Pierce with hand. Okay, so I believe that's all for roll call. Look, yes, yes. Um, and I believe the next uh, item on the agenda is reports. Director Zodi, and reports. Hey, good evening, Commissioner. Oh, I'm sorry. Good evening, Commissioner. There's not too much to report uh, this week for you. We will, um, in a couple of weeks, probably have quite a few things to update you on. We've got, we're in the final stages of our, um, some of our HUD uh, community development block grant money being um, sort of at the end of its process for us to be able to use it uh, from the awards that we've uh, done earlier this year. So you're gonna see more about that hopefully at the next uh, meeting um, and dealing with those uh, grant processes and awards with agreements and, um, and some other things. So I'll keep you updated there, but uh, for right now, that's our report. I do wanna report that um, I believe since we last met, uh, the Thomas Smith House was designated as a local uh, historic district, which is at 1326 South Pickwick Place. So in the realm of uh, sort of not RDC activity, that was, a, that was something that the city council did uh, for the hand department uh, and the Historic Preservation Commission in the last month. So um, there's a lot going on here. Um, and like I said, you'll hear a lot more about HUD money uh, coming up at our October 4th meeting. So. Uh, that's all. It concludes my report. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Nick, I, I, believe, I believe the next one is legal. Okay, Mr. President, can I say something real quick? I do want to, sure. I'm sorry, everyone. I do want to mention, I'm trying to make sure I mention this at every meeting I'm at, but if anyone knows, uh, we are really trying to get the word out on the rental assistance program that the state has. So if any of you know someone who is uh, maybe delinquent in their rent or a landlord or property manager who has delinquent tenants, um, please uh, send them our direction. Uh, we can get them uh, routed into the system for the uh, state emergency rental assistance program. This is something that's really important. There's lots and lots of money out there to help people with up to 12 months of rent as well as utilities. So uh, we don't award that money from hand. It's a state program, but we can give them the information they need to apply and, and talk them through the process a little bit. Um, but getting the word out here in Bloomington and Monroe County is really, really important because uh, the money is not getting spent very fast nationwide and we are doing everything we can here to get it, to get it out. So uh, apologies in for the, the interjection there, but I do want to uh, make sure I mention that at every possible public forum. So thank you. Hey, Nick. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that update. Yeah. Hey, hey Nick. Um, were we gonna do the reading of the minutes and the examination of claims and payroll registers? Yeah, 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 we are. Thank you so much, Cindy. I really apologize. Um that this has all thrown me off quite a little bit. So um no problem. <laughs> let me get so let, one second. Let me get that up in front of me. Uh, appreciate everyone's patience with us. Two and a half year olds don't really care about redevelopment commission meetings. Here 
There we go. All right, yep, all right, did it. Okay, let's go into number two. Sorry, uh, Larry, we're gonna have to, we're gonna jump back to uh, the reading of the minutes, examination of claims, examination of payroll registers. And so with that being said, uh, second item on today's agenda is reading of the minutes for um, August 16th, 2021, an executive summary for September 7th, 2021. Are there any comments by commissioners regarding uh, August 16 minutes and the executive summary for the September 7th meeting? I just have a correction for the executive summary for September 7th. Um, sure. I was not present and it has me as present. There we go. That's a big correction. You were there in spirit. That's why they captured your right. essence. Right, that's, that's how it goes in days. <laughs> All right. Um, Okay, so I uh, this is David Walter. I'd yeah. like to make a motion that we accept the uh, minutes as corrected for uh, September 7th and also for August 16th. Perfect. Is there a second? Thanks. Perfect. We had a we have a motion and a second. Let's go ahead and go to roll call. Cindy Canardi, yes. Deborah Myerson, yes. David Walter, yes. Nick Kappas, yes. Minutes for August 16th and get a summary for September 7th have been approved unanimously. Examination of claims, August 20th, 2021 um, for $276,227.25 and September 3rd for $2,518,932.37. Um, are there any comments or questions regarding um, the claims, examination of claims? If not, I'd entertain a motion. This is Cindy Canarney. I move approval of claims for August 20th, 2021 and September 3rd, 2021. This is David Walter, I'll, I'll second, second that. that. Okay, we have a motion in two seconds. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna pass. So let's go, to, go ahead and go to roll call. Cindy Canarney, yes. Deborah Myers, yes. David Walter, yes. And Nick Kappas, yes. Examination claims passed unanimously. Examination of payroll registers, August 27th for $34,255.85 and for September 10th uh, for $34,530.86. Any comments or questions by commissioners for the payroll registers? Uh, hearing now, I'll entertain a motion. This is Cindy Canarney. I make a motion that we approve the payroll registers for August 27, 2021 and September 10th, 2021. Myerson, I'll second that motion. All right, we have a motion and a second. Let's go ahead and go to roll call. Cindy Canarney, yes. Deborah Myerson, yes. David Walter, yes. Nick is yes. Examination of payroll registers has been approved unanimously. All right, now that we're back on track, thank you again for that, Cindy. Um, let's go ahead and we went through director's report. Thank you again, Director Zodi, and we're on to legal report with Larry Allen. No report, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Okay. No report by the legal. We're going to jump forward to uh, item uh, number C, uh, which is a treasurer's report. I don't think Jeff's on. Doesn't so, appear that he's on, but I'm happy to answer any questions there as well. Okay. And then finally, um, the last item under uh, section five is business development updates. Director Crowley. Hi, everyone. Uh, Alex Crowley, Director of Economic Sustainable Development. I honestly can't remember if we talked to you about this. It was right on the heels of having learned it uh, at the last meeting, but I wanted to update everybody that um, that the Economic Development Administration awarded the City of Bloomington and the Redevelopment Commission uh, a grant for three and a half million dollars, which will be matched in part with a Redevelopment Commission funding to build a new Trades District Technology Center. So that was a Pretty big deal, huge win for Bloomington. And uh, we learned it, uh, I guess, two weeks ago, Friday. Um, and um, 
so so anyway, in itself, that's uh, that that's a, a a great project for us. It'll it'll essentially build on the success of the mill, and um, facilitate a commercialization center in the trades district that will help to accelerate um, you know the the transition that we're tr all trying to make here from old economy to new economy. So I wanted to make sure everybody knew that that had happened. It was in the newspaper, I think, so that was good. Um, one little uh, detail related to that that I wanted to make sure everybody understood as well. The EDA, when they came back to us with the award and did the final review, they recognized the important role that the Redevelopment Commission is playing. And so they've asked us to, uh, to name the Redevelopment Commission as co-recipient for the grant. Um, so uh, Commission President uh, Kappas will join us tomorrow uh, on a call with the EDA. And we will um, hopefully learn, you know, what, what that entails. It, uh, we, we checked with our legal group. We checked with our controller. In neither case, they thought it was a significant uh, change. It was probably more of a, of a clerical um, effort to align the grant funding with the receiving bodies. So, um, so we'll find out a little bit more. If there's anything that comes out of that call tomorrow that anybody needs to know about, we'll bring that back to the commission uh, in two weeks. So uh, that is my report. Excellent. Any uh, commissioners have any questions for any of the directors um, that gave reports today? Nope. All right. And on to uh, item number six, which is new business and our agenda. Uh, we have two resolutions today, 21-43, approval of change order number 11 for West 17th Street re reconstruction. And Resolution 21-44 to ratify offer to purchase 605 South Madison. So we're gonna go into item A under new business, tw resolution 21-43. Who is here to speak to us about that? Oh, good evening, Matt Smithers with the engineering department. Uh, previously you approved change order number 10, which covered all of the overruns and underruns for the West 17th Street project. Unfortunately, I had a typo on the structural backfill pay item on that change order. So change order number 11 this evening would correct the amount due there by adding $2,805 for structural backfill. Uh, the Board of Public Works approved change order 11 at their meeting last week, and I'd be happy to answer you may have. Dude, one hour is it, unless I have any more typos. So how did you make a mistake on this? There's a lot of people these things. There are a lot of uh, quantities on that sheet, so I just slipped through the cracks. Um... Okay. Uh, uh, this resolution by commissioners. He promises this is going to be the last change yeah. order. And That's what I want to know. <laughs> you know, we could drive it on this for three months. <laughs> I'm just giving oh, you a hard man. time, but I'll make a yeah. motion we accept this uh, resolution 21 dash 4. Cindy can already okay, we have a motion. All right, we have a motion and a second. Uh, let's just go ahead and go to roll call for resolution 21-43. Cindy Kennardy, yes. Deborah Meyerson, yes. David Walter, yes. Nick Kappas, yes. Resolution 21-43 has been approved, uh, passed unanimously. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. On to the next business, uh, uh, 44, ratify offer to purchase 605 South Madison Street. Who's up? Yeah, I can give a brief overview, and then if Alex wants to fill in some details, uh, he can. Um, as you all know, you, you authorized a, an offer to the owners of 605 South Madison, which is part of the Bloomington Hospital Reuse uh, Phase 1 East uh, block, essentially, that's that's getting redone and was part of the master plan. Uh, the good news is those the uh, sellers accepted that offer um, for $265,000. This would allow us to purchase a key parcel that's right in the middle of that phase one 
East development and um, actually save us some cost on some of the, the infrastructure redevelopment because this particular parcel sits a little lower um, to build the retaining walls all the way around it had we not been able to obtain it. Uh, this will kick off kind of our due diligence period, uh, the acceptance of the offer. So we'll still do, you know, phase one of the property. We have a we have a good study done on this block. Uh, one for, for IU Health, of course, for their own parcels, and we've done several others as well, uh, or at least one other from another company. Um, but we'll do one for the due diligence of this and then go towards closing on this property and then be able to integrate it into to the master plan. Um, Alex, is there anything you want to add or any details? Uh, no, I mean, it was, uh, you know, we're, we're pleased that this has happened. It's been a, a, a bit of a long time coming. So, so it took a lot of, of uh, effort and, and, and we think it's the right move to really facilitate uh, if, if you all recall, the phase one uh, being east of Rogers is going to be the, the 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 first thing out of the gate. So uh, anything mm -hmm. that was going to be standing in the way of that was going to be a challenge. So we're we're pleased that this is moving along, and we hope to get it over the finish line and to get going with this project. With that, we're happy to answer any questions that you all may have about this particular offer or the site itself. I just have a, a quick question. Um, the references the fact that the RDC will assume the lease that's currently in place. Do you, do you can you share what the terms of that lease is? Uh, I don't have all the terms yet because I haven't been able to, to look at it in, in detail. But uh, it's a lease with uh, Center Stone, uh, which is on the property there, and it runs through May of 2022. Uh, they use this building, the building, there's a, there's a structure on this particular parcel, and I, I believe they use it for document storage, if that's correct, Alex, I don't know if you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, they use it for document storage, but actually at the end of the lease, I believe they're already looking for new locations to move that storage to. So uh, we don't anticipate that lease going longer than its current term of May 2022. Obviously, if something changed or something in, in this due diligence process has changed, we would come back to you and kind of give you an update. In fact, what we anticipate is that we'll do a separate uh, assumption of a lease kind of agreement. And so that way the text of that lease will be in the public meeting and presented to you for your approval before you have to assume that lease. Thank you. Any other questions by commissioners? Not hearing any, I will open up um, it to the public for on res on this resolution. Back to commissioners. Uh, this is Cindy Canarney. I'd like to make a motion for approval on resolution 21-40. Myerson, I'll second that motion. There, is there any, um, no more questions. Are there any comments um, on resolution 21-44 by commissioners? Any last words? No. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go to roll call. Cindy Canarney, yes. Deborah Mayerson, yes. David Walter, yes. Nick Kappas, yes. All right, 21 44 um, is. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Resolution 21 44 has been approved uh, unanimous to make all area contiguous. So, okay. With that, that, uh, that ends new business um, in the agenda. And we're on to item seven, which is business general discussion. Um, anything for the good of the order? All right, well, fine. And there's nothing, you know, everyone keeps staying safe um, out there and 
you know, this was qu it's quick business tonight, but you know, it was good business all in all. So we're on to item number eight for adjournment. Um, any do we have a motion? I moved. Dave Baldur seconds. All right. All in favor, uh, say aye. Okay. Uh, all right. Sorry about the beginning, everyone, but you know we made it through. Good job. On to the next one. Thank you.